thank you for being here. I want to introduce my team so you know who these folks are. Justin Kolber is Chief of my Environmental and Public Protection Division. Jill Abrams is the Director of the Consumer Unit. And Meredith Chaudois is an Assistant Attorney General in the Consumer Unit. We all know we're paying too much for prescription drugs. Today, I am proud to announce my office is taking action to bring transparency to prescription drug pricing with the intent to reduce healthcare costs for Vermonters. Today, my office has filed a lawsuit in state court against two pharmacy benefit managers, sometimes known as PBMs, Evernorth, which is owned which is the owner of Express Strips and CVS, as well as nearly two dozen affiliated entities for illegally driving up the cost of prescription drugs here in Vermont. Our lawsuit alleges that these pharmacy benefit managers are violating Vermont's Consumer Protection Act by manipulating the marketplace and reducing access to certain prescription drugs, including lower cost drugs. Evernorth and CVS are by far the largest pharmacy benefit managers here in Vermont. Together, they control approximately 95% of the market in our state. They dominate the prescription drug supply chain and have near complete control over the pricing, dispensing, and reimbursement systems in Vermont. To give you a better sense of their role in our healthcare system, Pharmacy benefit managers are the middlemen who negotiate the contracts with pharmaceutical manufacturers, insurance companies, and pharmacies, and dictate the cost of prescription drugs. Simply put, Evernorth and CVS have a hand in nearly every prescription drug transaction in Vermont, and their conduct has hurt Vermonters. Prescription drug prices have increased exponentially in the last decade. In large part, these price increases are due to a complicated business model designed and promoted by pharmacy benefit managers. While the pharmacy benefit managers named in our lawsuit claim they perform their services on behalf of their clients and patients to lower prescription drug prices and promote patient health, that's just not true. Instead, they've distorted the market to line their own pockets at the expense of Vermonters. We allege in our lawsuit that pharmacy benefit managers have pulled this off through market control, setting prescription drug formularies, and creating pharmacy benefit manager affiliated pharmacy relationships. A formulary is just a list of prescription drugs covered by an insurance plan. In overseeing the negotiations that set the pricing, availability, and access to prescription to prescribe medications, pharmacy benefit managers operate with no transparency in their decision-making process. The pharmacy benefit managers named in our lawsuit are incentivized to and do grant placement on their standard formularies to the prescription drugs with the largest payments from manufacturers and the highest list price while excluding lower cost prescription drugs. Pharmacy benefit managers engage in a business model that benefits them and harms consumers. They negotiate which prescription drugs are covered by health insurance plans. Here's how. They require that prescription drug manufacturers provide the pharmacy benefit managers with payments dressed up as rebates and other fees that the pharmacy benefit managers then pocket. The pharmacy benefit managers are not only driving up prescription drug prices through their formulary construction, but they are also preventing patients from accessing lower priced prescription drugs by excluding them from their formularies. As an example of this, a New York Times investigation recently revealed that in Illinois, a woman with cancer paid hundreds of dollars more than she should have for her pain medication because a pharmacy benefit manager required her to use a more expensive version of the drug. Pharmacy benefit managers further drive up prescription drug costs by requiring patients often with chronic or serious illnesses to fill their prescriptions from the pharmacy benefit manager's own in-house pharmacy and then restrict those patients' access to only the most expensive prescription drugs. This harms consumers as well as local pharmacies. Pharmacy benefit managers wield enormous control over prescription drug prices and purchasing behavior in our state, and they have used this control to line their own pockets.
Here's the bottom line. Vermont consumers and businesses are harmed when pharmacy benefit managers manipulate the market. We are suing those pharmacy benefit managers for ripping off Vermonters. We are asking the court for injunctive relief and penalties. This lawsuit is about our health. It's about our ability to get the prescription drugs we need to be well. According to a recent FTC report, nearly 30% of Americans reported rationing or even skipping doses of their prescription drugs due to high costs. No one should get rich by keeping patients sick and unable to, perform, to afford their prescription drugs. It is unconscionable that pharmacy benefit managers are lining their pockets with misleading costs and fees dressed up as rebates. They are keeping prescription drug prices astronomically high and manipulating the supply and availability of life-saving medications. Pharmacy benefit managers want us to believe they are saving us money, but what they're actually doing is fiddling with the marketplace at our expense. I will close by saying thank you for coming and I'm happy to answer questions. And I know um, that all of you should have gotten a sheet that explains a little bit about what pharmacy benefit managers do, because that can be a little complicated. Um, and we want to make sure you have that. Uh, there's a chart on there, too, as a resource. Any questions? Are there any other states that are joining on to this lawsuit? And who, who's responsible for, for regulating uh, PBM? So there are other states who have taken some actions related to PBMs, but this is just Vermont, uh, just a Vermont action. Um, there's no coordinated effort or anything like that. Um, in terms of regulating PBMs, there is a role that DFR plays um, with PBMs. But in terms of this lawsuit, this lawsuit is based on the Consumer Protection Act. So the Consumer Protection Act protects consumers and the marketplace um, by making it illegal to uh, do uh, deceptive or unfair things in commerce. and. Um, I will also wanted to say uh, the market, it's really about the market. PBMs were not created by anything other than the market. I had that question when we first started looking into this. Any other questions? Maybe the other question is, uh, do you know like, specifically what types of medications, like, like uh, high blood pressure, heart rate, like mm -hmm. what drugs are we talking about here? Well, um, it, like you say, it is a lot of drugs that are for you know cancer and serious illnesses. We're going to link to the complaint in our press release that, we'll, that Lauren will send out after this, and it'll have some examples. But I did have some examples that I think are compelling that I can share with you. Um, so pharmacy benefit managers charge their customers $6,600 a month or more for a cancer drug called Gleevec through their specialty pharmacies, so their own pharmacies, when it is available in generic form for $55. $6,600 or $55. Another example, CVS Caremark charged a client $138,000 a year for a cancer medication called, Ev I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but Everolimus. I'm getting nods, that sounds promising. <laughs> So they were charging $138,000 a year for this cancer drug when the actual cost to the pharmacy benefit manager was $14,000 a year. So $138,000 versus $14,000. So just a couple of examples and there'll be more in the complaint. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming. Really appreciate it. And I'll be here if you have other questions.